Science, Chapter 4, Lesson 1, How is the Body Organized? How is the body organized? Cells are the building blocks of your body. Specialized cells make up different body parts which work together to meet all the needs of your body. Cells working together. Your body is able to do some pretty amazing things. You can run and catch a ball. You can write and read. You can dance, play an instrument, or even create your own music. No one body part is responsible for it for any of these activities. Instead, each part involved contributes in its own way. The human body is an amazing system made up of more than 75 trillion cells. These cells are so small that a sheet of about 10,000 of them would only cover the head of a pin. Every one of those cells is a living unit. At the same time, each cell is part of a larger living unit, your body. Millions of chemical processes go on in your body every minute. Those chemical processes take place in cells. Cells depend on each other so to keep all the body's internal conditions in balance so that all cells can work properly. For example, the important processes that go on in your body cells can only happen within a particular temperature range, around 37 degrees Celsius. Cells in different parts of your body work together to make sure the body's temperature stays in that range. Your body depends on its cells to make it run smoothly. The surprising thing about cells is that they do so many important tasks, but they are so small. The largest cell, the human egg cell, is about the diameter of a human hair. Most human cells are much smaller. You can, how can so many tiny individual cells in the body work together so efficiently? The answer is in the way the cells are organized. Why is keeping the body in balance important? Well, you need your body in balance so that all cells can work together to keep the body working together. This means that they work together to keep you alive. If your cells stop working together and your temperature in your body raises, you will get a fever. If your body is not in balance, you could possibly die. Levels of Organization Although all cells are made of the same basic parts, each type of cell is adapted to perform certain activities or functions. Keeping the body in balance requires many different activities, but each cell does not have to do them all. Cells are organized by the activities they do. Similar cells that work together to perform a particular function in your body make up tissues. Cells that can contract or shorten make up muscle tissue. When the cells that make up muscle tissue contract, some, parts, some part of your body moves. You use muscle tissue when your eyes move to read this page or when you move in your chair. Although muscle tissue contracts to move your body, nerve tissue tells the muscle tissue to do so. The cells that make up nerve tissue are alike in that they can carry messages from one cell to another. Your brain is made of mostly nerve tissue. Other types of tissue hold together body parts, support the body, cushion organs, or release substances. When two or more tissues work together to do a job, they form an organ. The job of an organ is usually not as simple as the job of a tissue. For example, your heart must pump blood all over your body. To do so, it must have different kinds of tissues. Muscle tissue that contracts, nerve tissue that directs its activities, and other tissue to hold it together and carry blood. Each organ in your body is part of an organ system. Different organ systems work together and depend on each other. Read the chart on the next page to see the important jobs each body system does. Cells. The heart must be without stopping so that the body has a constant supply of blood. Heart muscle cells have many mitochondria to provide energy for this task. In that pink picture, the red is the mitochondria. Now let's look at the blue picture. The arrangement of muscle cells in the heart tissue allows the muscles to shorten and then relax, causing the heart to beat. And now we're looking at organs. The heart itself is an organ. In addition to muscle tissue, the heart is made of tissues that provide support and protection and that form its, its blood vessels. So now let's look at our body's major sim uh, systems. So the circulatory system transports oxygen, nutrients, and cell wastes. Digestive system breaks down foods into a form the body can use. Uh, endocrine controls internal conditions, growth, development, and reproduction. Excretory removes waste from the blood. Immune defends the body against pathogens. Muscular allows body movement and movement of substances within the body. Nervous controls body movement thought, and behavior. Reproductive produces sex cells and offspring. 
Respiratory provides the body with oxygen and removes gas waste from the blood. Skeletal provides body protection and support, interacts with muscles to allow movement. Blood cells. These blood cells are only two of the many kinds of cells that make up your body. Red blood cells carry oxygen throughout the body so that all cells can carry out life functions. White blood cells help to fight off disease-causing invaders that attack the body. Although each person is unique, the cells of everyone's body are similar in some ways. This similarity makes it possible for individuals to don donate their blood to others. Other cell similarities enable people to donate entire organs. So I went through and I highlighted in this section what I thought was important. This is a skill you guys should be doing on your own when you are reading. Homework questions. Number one, what is the basic unit of structure in the human body? That is what this whole section is about. Number two, identify and give an example of each level of organization in the human body. Because this was a harder question, I kind of set you up for success on this one, and I made you a little diagram. So the first level is cells, and then tissues, and then organs, and then organ system. Cells adapt to perform tasks. Tissues are cells that contract. Cells that contract make tissues. Um, when tissues work together to do a job, they make an organ, and all organs are part of an organ system. Now, you need to give an example of each level of organization in the human body. I want you to explain it fully to me, since I did help you with this one. In the last one, there are four basic types of blood. What are the four blood types and which type can be donated to anyone? You all know this because we read the book of blood, and you had a test on it, and you explained blood when we made blood out of graham crackers and icing. So you definitely know how to do number three. All right, get started on your homework.